Shivas Or Chodosh. As the name shows, the Shiva, which gives light and warmth. Just like a plant needs sunlight to grow and flourish through the warmth and light it receives, so our yeshiva gives that extra warmth to help Bachram blossom and flourish and bring out the greatest potential. <laughs> It's a real pleasure for me to be able to describe a little bit the wonderful and tremendous work that Yeshiva's Or Chodosh is doing. So what's unique about Yeshiva's Or Chodosh? Why would we want to set up a new Yeshiva Yitam? For many years, I've been Mechanech Talmidim, preparing them to go to Yeshiv Gitan. But, having seen them 6 months down the line, 12 months down the line, even 15 months down the line, I was disappointed that they hadn't reached the level of Hatzlocha I would have expected them to attain in those short months. The transition years of a, of a boy leaving from school, high school to Yeshiva, are crucial years in a boy's life. It became obvious that the Miskeris, the Sviva that they were attending, wasn't quite right for them. And primarily, they mentioned that shorter story would have been something that they would have appreciated. And it's amazing, because it works. Ayur Chodosh is there, and was there for my son, to nurture that bocha, so he can really stand on his own two feet. <laughs> The most outstanding features of this yeshiva is the personal dedication of the Anhala to every single bocha. We have a tremendous Anhala, a tremendous team at service of senior Magili Shurim, Magili Shurim, who literally kiheim chayein vo'erech yomeinu. They've really gone to great lengths to really understand the Bochum of today. And Holland carefully monitors the progress of the Bochum. Each and every one, the high ratio staff to Tomidim. Being there throughout the Sidorim, answering their questions, nurturing them. And that enables a Bochum to be able to bond and develop a Kesha, not just within a limited amount of sheer time, but in the Seder as well. The Messirus, the Ibegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegegeg
can understand a Gemara and feel that they're achieving in their learning is the greatest contentment that a boy can feel. A bocha who can constantly achieve and constantly furthers his own horizons, he breeds an unbelievable sipokachayim. When a person is understanding his Gemara that he learns, he's able now to successfully navigate through new Gemaras and with a regilus, Gemara, Rashi, and Tosfus, he is happy, he is content. Then the Limut HaTayra and the Yerushamayim and the Davening, everything continues automatically because they're enjoying what they're doing. And of course, any yeshiva that gives personal attention to the boys at the level that Archadosh does will automatically give them the tools and the ability to steig and reach places that they probably wouldn't reach in any other mesa. There's no doubt about it that my son has a love for Torah and he's definitely very proud to be a yeshiva bacher in the yeshiva Archadosh. from our yeshivas are amongst the most successful bochum in their shiurim and for us that's the hallmark of success. I have the privilege of being a Magid Shir in Sunderland Yeshiva where a great number of the graduates of Er Hodosh have joined us and I must say that not only are they doing well in the shir but perhaps some are even the best. Yeshivas know that a bochum that's coming from Er Hodosh is a geboita bochum. He's built in Midas, he's built in Torah, he's built in Hashkafa. It's incumbent on us that we're all mishtatif in helping this yeshiva because I think it's a huge proportion of Bochim who are being served and who will be served in future years by this yeshiva. The Rav Shalom should give the yeshiva and the Anhala Siyat HaDishmaya that they should be able to continue to be Marbitz Torah, La Adorim. their wonderful, dedicated work, they will be Zeicha to see Nachas their families and their children. That the boys should continue to steig and they should grow up to become tremendous Tamid Chachamim and it won't be long before they'll be out in the wide world being Mabish Tari themselves, flying the flag of success for our Chodosh Be'ezus Hashem. <laughs>